doing a little video today on a little something I finally picked up, something I've wanted for quite a while, and finally got my hands on. Broke down, saw it on sale, on sale for California at 129. Um, I know a lot of places you can get them cheaper than that, but whatever, we got it. Mosin Nagant, pride of the Russian infantry, <laughs> or not. So what we're going to do here, obviously what we're going to need to do is clean this. We're going to need to break it down and get the Cosmoline off it. And there's a million videos out there. I'm going to follow a little method that uh, my buddy uh, SoCal Preppers, or Big Meat Sunday, or Big Bubba Frecklehead, or whatever we want to call him today. Anyways, a little method he uh, tried out last week. He said it worked for him, so you know we'll give it a shot. I've seen other methods done with mineral spirits. I ain't got time for that, so we're going to do the uh, boiling water trick, a little bath. What we got to do is break this bad boy down. We're going to do it by taking off these two rings here that hold the uh, upper and lower together, if you will. Next, move the bolt to the rear, pull the trigger, bolt slips right out. All right, we got two screws that we got to take out. I don't know if you can see that. We got a screw here on the top and back, and also one here on the bottom. We'll take this one off first. So that's done, and the rest of this mechanism comes right on out. Booyah, there's the wood. Wooden stock, looking good. It's all packed with some Cosmoline. They got they wiped a lot of it off. It really isn't too bad. Right out of the bag, it's pretty good shape, pretty clean. All right, so pulling the bolt apart. I don't know if you can see that. Gonna get a firm hand on there, nice and slick. You're gonna twist it. When it's turned, you can just pop off the, the bolt head, if you will. All right, so to break the bolt down the, the rest of the way, all we're going to do is pull the safety knob back, spin it counterclockwise. That'll allow the uh, top part here. Wow, the Cosmoline is slick. <laughs> oh, there's a little knob there you can rest on. A little groove right in there where you can just pull it and rest it right in there. That pulls right off. All right. So we'll get this repositioned and we'll get the boiling water going and bathe this thing right off. All right, as you can see, we got the uh, water temperature up to about 190 degrees right there. So anyway, we got our hot water. We got our little, our little ladle pan. We got a couple bins here. We're putting the parts in and putting water on them. Be right back. All right, so I got all the parts down in here and this is just all the metal parts. As you can see, the bolt pieces, the um, magazine, if you will, uh, cartridge holding section, trigger guard. And then I'm going to put this right inside there as well. Now this is the hard part, so you want to pay close attention to this. All right. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab some hot water here, and we're just going to just pour it right on top. That water is hot, by the way. So, look at that. Like a butter. I'm going to pull the safety back on that because I want to get into the nooks and crannies. Wow, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Whew. I'm going to lock that back. Yes, the water is hot.
All right, for this next part, we're going to try to pour some hot water down the barrel. For that, I'm going to lightly hold the barrel up by one of the rings. Try to pour it down this way, and then we'll go the other way. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I want to know what's taking me so long. So it's it's been like ten minutes. I'm still cleaning this thing, but all the cosmin is coming off this thing. It's really kind He's of. He's not cool. doing it in bare feet either, so that's half the problem right there. Yeah, <laughs> I can throw this on you if you want. You see SoCal sweet. scream like a little woman. <laughs> Why are my channel locks sitting in the what? That fucking. Well, because they slip those, and fill those in. aren't hot, are they? <laughs> yeah, they're hot. I can't hold them anymore. So. All right, as you can see, the water's still, you know, 130 step out of the water, close to 140 degrees, 135, 140, so still hot enough to do what we needed to do here. So all we're going to do here is just set this down inside. We're going to use the water in here to pour over. Whoa. Real simple. All right, so we have here's the finished product, and you can see the metal parts um, are clean, <laughs> they're dry. You know, the hot water, the heat just kind of evaporates right off there, and so you end up with some really nice, nice clean parts. Magazine area, nice and clean trigger guard. The wood, on the other hand. Yeah, it could use uh, some sweating. It's going to have to be sweated out. I think uh, I think the mineral spirits are going to be best for that to get the rest of the cosmolings. I'm, I'm sure it's pretty far embedded in there. Should have taken off the uh, the butt plate, but um, yeah, this this piece got really clean. But I can just tell it's years of soaking in cosmoline. It's probably uh, got a lot in there. So for the metal, I guess the boiling water works well. Works really good for the wood. I don't know, I'm thinking the mineral spirits might be the way to go. So, trial and error, you know, gave it a shot without heating up a whole nother big tub of, of uh, boiling water. I'm going to say that uh, it gets off the surface, Cosmoline, but as far as getting it out of the wood, that's going to take the mineral spirits, I believe. Um, but a U.S. Freedom, Brian, U.S. Freedom 22. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, my Mosin and the Gunt, we'll show a shot here when we get it all back together. All right, safety function check. You can see it's, well, maybe you can't see it, but it's cocked. Okay. Watch this awesome, awesome trigger pull. <laughs> it's got to be about the heaviest trigger I've ever, ever seen. <laughs> Fingertip, not good. Ah, there we go. So yeah, hopefully now it'll go boom, right? That's the idea. So anyway, that's all I got. That's just uh, the most Nagan I got. And my first one, so maybe there'll be more to go. Who knows, maybe not. Anyway, that's all I've got on this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Maybe you can let me know what I'm doing wrong here with the first one I've ever had. And maybe you'll just say, hey, you just suck, period. Anyway. Y'all take care. SOS out. Alright, so y'all watched that and saw how uh, I tried to follow the method that SoCal Preppers used to clean his Mosin Nagant, American Tactical Imports version, Mosin Nagant, and uh, to get the Cosmoline off, the boiling it in water, each of the parts, worked really well on the metal. The metal, really clean, spotless. 
The wood, on the other hand, not so well. Um, there's still cosmoline in there, and it just isn't doesn't come out with uh, the boiling water. Contrary to what we thought it would do, it's just really not all the way out. So, I'm impatient. I don't like the whole idea of soaking this wood stock in mineral spirits like uh, US Freedom 22 shows. I have a better solution. This is the fastest way I can think of to get the cosmoline gone and no hassle and make the gun look better all at the same time. Bam! ATI, not the same ATI as American Tactical Imports. This is ATI Advanced Technical International, ATIGunstocks.com. They make a nice composite stock for the Mosin Nagant. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this put on the, uh, the Mosin here. And uh, we're going to see how this turns out, all right? Stay with me. All right, so here we go. We got it out of the box. I'm wearing gloves. Why? Well, <laughs> this sucker still got cosmically on it, and that stuff's a pain. I hate it on my hands. So I always wear gloves when working, usually on vehicles or anything oily, just because, hey, the wife likes the hands beautiful and smooth, right? So anyway, all that comes with the, uh, the kit from ATI, ATI Gun Stocks, is composite stock. You see that? You can see the profile of this stock versus that stock, right? Instructions, very detailed, show you step by step exactly what you need to do. But I'm a guy, I don't need instructions, right? So who needs those? Get those out of the way. Well, let's go to disassembling this and getting this put together. That's all you have to do, disassemble the Mosin Nagant. It's real simple. So let's go ahead and get this thing put back together, shall we? Okay, it seems like there's just a little bit of clearance issue at this point right here. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of, of, an, of a bind, if you will, um, where it just doesn't want to quite slip down in there. So I'm going to play with that for a second and see what I can do to go ahead and slip that on in there. And there you go. How easy is that, right? So now you got the Mosin Nagant, the black stock. I'll move that up. Look at that rifle, huh? Beautiful. So now it looks a lot more tactical now that it's got that stock on it rather than the wooden stock. And uh, no, no Cosmoline mess anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know it's cheating, but you know what? I saw this online, they had them at Walmart, on walmart.com, ordered it up, 60 bucks, delivered, and can't go wrong with that. Um, now I got a nice, some, somewhat modern looking uh, hunting rifle, shall we say, based on the old Mosin Nagant tried and true platform, of the, if that's what you want to call it. Anyway, for a cheap gun, uh, you couldn't ask for anything different. I mean, the Mosin Nagant, you pick these up for uh, the kit like what we got for 115 most places um, some places they're cheaper I know guys that have bought in crates of them because they're so cheap and it's such a an old-school weapon you know that are pretty good so anyway I'm gonna go with that and uh, take it out out to the range and uh, put some rounds down range with it well, thank you and uh, y'all take care SOS out <laughs>